Hey everybody, this is Joe, and here's what I know. Have you ever got something gear-wise and you wanted to use it for a job coming up, but you really didn't even use it before anywhere, never tested it, never thought anything about it? Well, I did. Um, I do that a lot, actually, and I'm sure a lot of people do. I'm not the only one that's whacked. But I did that with uh, some Leica gear. I got some uh, Leica equipment, and I had a wedding to do. And I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to do it because why not? I know the equipment should be good, should be. And I had a second shooter, um, so I thought, why not give it a whirl? And actually, I'm glad I did. Um, I keep telling myself I'm not going to do that anymore. But guess what? I always do. So have you done that? Have you done that? I have. Probably way too many times because I love camera equipment. I love gear. And I like being able to try stuff and see if I'm going to like it or not. Um, like this video. I have not done video. And I'm sure you can tell. I have not done video ever. Really ever. And uh, I was always afraid to get into it. Afraid to try it, see what the editing would be like, how hard it was. My brother did video way back, um, VHS. We did stuff like that, but I never used the digital video for anything of any value, I should say. So I'm trying to learn it and edit and do all kinds of fun stuff with it on top of everything that I'm doing. And um, I love... I love gear. Like I said, I got this, uh, the Leica SL2. I have the 90 millimeter Apple lens and the 35 millimeter Apple. These, these lenses here are phenomenal. These lenses are sharp, no distortion, absolutely off the chart phenomenal. And the wedding pictures come out really good. Um, I got off sidetrack there, but the wedding pictures came out really good. I, uh, I'm going to show you some of those. I did some from getting ready at the church to just fun stuff all around. Um, at the end, we had, we finished up with the, uh, I used the Leica Q3 for most of it. And it was a lot of fun, actually. We went to, uh, the, it's called the Canton Club. It was an old gentleman's club, years and years, like 1800s. And... Um, it had many different things in there since, but now it is a uh, law office. Um, and the lady that owns the office said we could use the club for pictures. So we went up there. It's very dark. It's got like old smoking lounges, bars, that type of thing. It's a very cool, cool place. Um, so we went in there and I got for my like a Q3, one uh, flash, off camera flash, little trigger on it and shot some really cool pictures uh, at 1.7, the bar, the bridal party on a table, um, just kind of fun stuff. And I really love the freedom that trying stuff gives you. You break out of that fear of like, well, should I do this or not? And the fact that the cameras are much smaller than what I'm used to using. I, I'm used to using the Z9s, which if you've used those, you know how big those are. And then you add a 1.2 lens, like an 85 or a 50, then they get very big and heavy to carry all day long. So the Q3 is phenomenal. Um, it is just a fun camera to use, and the quality is phenomenal. Really, it is. It's like 60 megapixel, and you can really zoom in. So if you have to crop, don't be afraid. No, it's not the same as shooting a 90 millimeter and get that depth of field. But I'll tell you what, using Photoshop, and the uh, neural filters where you can blur that, it is amazing. I mean, literally, it is amazing how you can make a photograph look. Still not the same as shooting with a um, telephoto 1.2 lens. It's not, but it's really close. So there's always that. But let me know what you think um, on my pictures and uh, what you think of just the whole video, really, because I'm trying and I'm learning. And... I appreciate your support, and I'm very thankful that I'm able to do this. All right, have a good one, and keep shooting. Peace.